Hi everyone, um, so I'm back with the second part of week 41. Um, so I'm still using the Boo Crew collection from Simple Stories. And I'm using the Design E pocket page, which is the four six by sixes. Um, so I wasn't really using any paper for this week because I didn't really need to. So I wanted to use up some of these two by twos because as I said before, this was when Simple Stories had the full 12 by 12s uh, cut parts for two by twos. And there's so many of them. So I wanted to start using them up really and um, the way that I thought I could use them was basically using my photo at the top so they're six by fours and then um, using some two by twos at the bottom and it works out really nicely I really like how it's come out so I'm just making some six by sixes out of just plain white paper because they're going to be my background because I'm not using any paper there was no point using any pattern paper that you wouldn't see so I'm just using some plain white paper cutting them down to six by fours and then I'm going to stick all my bits and pieces on those for the pockets so the main thing that we did at the second half of the week we went out for joe's dad's birthday we went to a curry house which was really nice he's actually off to india and other countries at the end of the year so he's wanting to um get used to some of the indian cuisine so we went to this really nice um place in near where joe's sister lives and it was really nice we really enjoyed it i was just coming down with this throat thing because my throat felt really swollen um but i think the spices helped well i'd like to think that they helped um so yeah we got some nice pictures uh the first one is just a picture of joe his dad and uh, joe's sister's soon-to-be husband so like it's nice because it's like brothers sort of thing with the dad in the middle um so yeah, so I'm just going to stick some washi tape down the side because it's ever so slightly too small, that photo. Um, so I didn't want any white to sort of coming through. So I'm going to put some washi tape down the side and I'm going to stick the photo at the top and I'm going to use some of my three, two by twos at the bottom. I try to pick ones, um, different colours, like have an orange one, a white one, a black one or a grey one. You know, so they're not all the same colours. Um, so I decide on the spooky night, the little cobweb and the little eyeballs, which I think are really cute. Um, so I stick those at the bottom and then I stick my photo over the top. There is a slight gap. Um, so I just get some plain orange washi tape, very thin washi tape, and just stick along the bo bottom to make like a sort of a border. And I use one of the um, cut apart, not cut apart, it's like bits and pieces. It says um, goblins and ghouls. I'm going to put those put that at the top as well um so yeah it takes me a little bit longer this layout because obviously it's a bit more fiddly with all the different pieces to put together but i really like how it's come out and i feel like i've used a lot of those two by twos i'm definitely more aware of what i can fit on a pocket nowadays i don't know why it took me so long to realize that the pockets are pretty much apart from threes but pretty much on equal numbers so like two by twos will fit into six by sixes and you know six by fours you can fit a few two by twos in there that sort of thing I don't know why it took me so long to sort of like combine them because like when I've got when I've got a pocket that um I haven't quite got the right photo or haven't got the right um size cut apart I don't know why it took me so long as I said to realize that I could just put a load of two by twos together or a three by four and a you know something else it, it honestly took me way too long to figure that out so yeah, that's what I did on this one. So I'm just filling in the gaps of the two by twos, basically. And I think that works out really nicely. Um, so the second photo is a picture of all of us just at our table. The um, nice waiter took a picture of us. And um, yeah, it was a really nice meal. I had, I'm trying to think what I had. I think I had a chicken madras. Um, and I love a curry. And we'd just come back from Romania where we, we didn't have anything like that. We were eating a lot of Italian food, actually, in Romania. Um but we weren't eating a lot of rice and me and Joe, we do eat a lot of rice on a, a weekly basis. So we were quite like looking forward to having like a curry or a rice dish. Um, so yeah, so as a whole, we sort of shared a load of rices and um, naan breads and stuff like that. So it was just a really nice meal. Um, and yeah, it was for his birthday. So that was nice. Um, yeah, so then as I said, the second photo is just all of us around the table. I'm going to again use some more two by twos. I use some more of the eyeballs, the little potion bottle that's full of eyeballs, and then the hashtag squad goals, goals um, on that one. So, yeah, they work out really nicely, um, these little two-by-two two cut parts. I think they're really cute. And I've always loved two-by-twos. I think they're adorable, but they're quite hard to use, I think, sometimes. They're either the, they're too big for the photo or they're too small on the page, and it's you know they get a little bit lost. So it's just trying to find that balance, really. And, uh, yeah, I think I, this is... 
probably the happiest I've been with a with a six by six, uh, this pocket page, the six by six one. Um, I always feel a little bit lost about what to do on these pages, but this has definitely made it a lot easier. So I might be doing this for the future. So the third pocket at the top, um, I'm actually going to be using um, two three by fours. Two one's got the journal space and one just says boo. I was going to use that one with the um mummy sort of thing but I thought I'd decide on the, the one that says boo instead um but obviously it gives me space to journal on which is quite nice and then again I'm gonna put some more two by twos underneath that one so it creates sort of a, a routine sort of thing all the six by fours no nope, six by sixes sorry have the two by twos in the line so it looks quite neat um and I really like that actually so yeah so I've got some space to journal on which I can obviously write about what we did we also had Bilbo when we picked up Bilbo at the end um around that time so um I got some more pictures of him and I instead of putting them all separate I actually used my Canon selfie to make a shuffle print and I just love the relationship that Bilbo and Mango have together like Bilbo is this large Labrador and Mango is the tiniest of cats and they just absolutely love each other Mango as soon as Bilbo's bed gets into our living room Mango's on it and he just gives it up to her like he has no qualms about letting her be on his bed like he, I think he wants to get on with her but obviously she sits right in the middle so there's no chance um but he'll go and sit on the sofa and she'll have his bed and I just think it's so cute um so I really like that they get on really well um but it was nice to have Bilbo we haven't had him for a while and it's always nice to have a dog um you know when you don't have your own dog it's always really nice to have someone else's dog to look after it's a bit like when you have you know look after kids it's not your kids sort of thing but you can have a good time with them and then you sort of hand them back uh, it was just really nice to have him um so we took him out for some walks and um yeah he was just nice he, he's very cuddly and he always likes to be with you so he's a very homely sort of dog and it's just um it's nice to have a bit of company um and yeah we only had him for a few days but um it's always nice to have him so yeah i used my canon selfie to um put those photos together Obviously, this was a slightly smaller one, so in order to get rid of the white around the border, um, I used my washi tape again, my orange washi tape, to create like a border around it. Uh, and I used the 2 by 2s Again, because the photo is smaller than a 6 by 4 there is this gap at the bottom, so I'm just going to use the polka dot washi tape at the bottom. And I actually do leave a white strip at the bottom, because there is quite a few little bits of white on the page, so I didn't think it stood out too much. Um, so I was quite happy just to leave a little strip of white at the bottom. And, um, yeah... I think it works out really nicely. So I've had a, a really nice time doing this layout and I'm really looking forward to using some more Halloween collections. Um, I'm just going to try and do some more Halloween-y sort of things. Um, it has been absolutely hectic recently, so I've just not had the chance to sort of have an evening to myself and do some Halloween stuff. I'd like to read some Halloween books or something, but again, I've got some books lined up, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to... I don't, I'm don't. i in the middle of the series, so I don't want to like cut in the middle and start a new one, but... There's no reason why I can't, to be honest. But um, yeah, it's it's been fun. So I, I'd like to make some um, Halloween cookies and stuff like that. So I might do that um, at the end of the week when I've got a bit more time um, just to, yeah. I've brought some really cute, I've, I think I did them in a haul once, um, cute like cats and pumpkin sort of um, cookie cutters that I'd like to use. Otherwise, they're just in the cupboard, not getting used. So yeah, I'd like to do some more Halloween bits. And there is a load of Halloween candy and sweets and stuff in the, sto in the stores, but I keep buying them and I keep eating them already. So um, I do actually need to go out and get some more. We don't really get many trick-or-treaters, so it tends to be me and Joe just eating them anyway, but um, it's all good fun. When you don't have kids and stuff, you've got to make your own Halloween fun. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this part of the week and this week in general it's been a very very busy week um next week is just as busy um but yeah just this end of the year was always going to be really busy and it's not going to it's not going to stop until this time next year I don't think when I'm on my honeymoon <laughs> so yeah I hope you've enjoyed this part and I will be back with week 42 shortly which I can't believe is 10 weeks off being the end of the year so thank you very much bye